Hey everybody, it's Professor Parrish. This is the last week of English 122, if you can believe it. And man, I feel like this semester has been both really long, but it's also flown by really quickly. <laughs> if, if you can believe that, I, I feel like 2020 has done the exact same way. It feels like it's both flown by and also been the longest year possible. <laughs> so this is our last video for English 122. And first of all, let me say thank you for sticking out in this class. I know that this semester has been stressful. I know that some of you have had classes moved online back and forth. I know some of you are dealing with trying to stay safe and also be with family and friends. And I know it's just a difficult time for everybody right now. And so the fact that you've stuck through this class speaks a lot of volumes for your efforts and for every bit of hard work you've put in. So first of all, thank you for being awesome and for making it this far. This is our last week <laughs> and then we will have a break, <laughs> at least from school, <laughs> among other things. So um, with that being said, I just want to take this time in this video to go over the last couple of assignments and talk about what's going to be due. Um, the due date for this week is a little bit different than normal, so I want to make sure everybody knows that. But with that being said, um, let's go to course content. I've kept in the announce in the faculty version so that I can pull up and show you all so here we go. All right, so finals week. There are only two assignments. They are both due by Friday, December 18th at 11.55 p.m. So not Saturday, not Sunday. Everything is due Friday the 18th because that is the last day of our semester. Um, I'll have the weekend to grade and I have to turn in grades by Monday. So um, everything is due by Friday night. Um, no exceptions, unfortunately. That's a college policy. I don't get to make that. That's just how our college works. Once Friday 11.55 goes on, technically it's midnight, but once 11.55 passes, then everything the semester's cut off. So please be diligent about that. Don't wait until the last minute um, because I can't accept assignments late, even by email. I cannot accept them late. That's just college policy and I don't want anybody to lose all of these points because you've waited until the last minute. Now, as I'm recording this, it's Saturday night. So Sunday night, I'm planning on finishing up peer reviewing the rest of the drafts. So by Monday, you should have your drafts back um, with my feedback on them. So by at least Sunday night or Monday morning, you should have those drafts back so you can make revisions and turn in that final paper. And um, the final paper drop, final, final paper drop box is right here. Um, it's gonna open tomorrow on Sunday, December 13th. Um, please don't turn in your final paper until you've gotten feedback from me. Um, that way you don't turn it in and then I'm like, hey, you should have done this. And you're like, oh, can I resubmit it? And I'm like, no. <laughs> um, so please just wait till you get your feedback and then you can submit the paper. Um, the final exam is gonna be due on Friday as well. And I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like because let me go to test builder here and show y'all. Um, basically, uh, there's three sections. There's a fiction section that has seven questions. You can see that there are multiple choice matching and short answer. Then the poetry has a section here where there's multiple choice essay, which means short answer. And that's basically it. And then the drama section has seven. So each section is worth a series of points. The fiction sections were 35 points. Poetry was worth 40. Um, drama is worth 25. And then altogether, it's worth 100 points for the final. If you have your notes, if you have access to the videos, where we've gone over the content, if you've done well on the previous tests, you will be fine <laughs> because it's all cumulative. It's just cherry picking from the past tests that we've had in the past and just reviewing the materials from fiction, drama, and poetry. There's not any trick questions. There's not anything that's gonna come out of the blue. If you have your textbook, you should get 100 on this test. So if honestly, if you're trying, I know our buyback dates are December 14th through the 18th at the college. So you have until Friday to turn your book back in if you rented it or if you wanna sell it back. Um, keep your textbook to take this final exam. And then once your final is over, then get rid of your book because you'll, I would definitely, if you have your book on you, then this is gonna be a pretty easy final. And then your paper is due in that uh, drop box. So that's pretty much it. Everything's due by Friday, just those two assignments. Um, that will be it. Like I said, our grades from faculty are due by Monday. So you should, I'm gonna leave this course open so that you can see your final grade in the class that so you don't have to wait on it. Um, but your final grades should all be posted by Monday night. So by Monday night, you should be able to know what your grade is in the class. 
Um, but as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Um, I'll be in and out of the office this coming week, and then I'll be working remote um, that weekend after. But if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. But I'm very thankful to have you all as students. I feel like despite everything going on, we had a really, really strong class this semester. Like you all had wonderful discussion forum posts, amazing dialogue with your fellow classmates. I felt like we got on some tangents with different conversations. I know I didn't personally respond to a lot of the discussion forums, but I read all your posts and I saw the conversations you were having and they were really, really awesome. So I'm excited to see what your final papers look like. The drafts I've seen so far look great. Um, so I'm curious to see what you all come up with for the final draft. Um, I wish you the best of luck on your finals in this class and other classes as well. And most importantly, I hope you have a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holiday, um, and I hope you just have a wonderful rest of 2020. Like after this class over, just breathe. <laughs> Hopefully for some of you, you won't have to write another English paper ever again. <laughs> but in the meantime, if you have any questions, let me know. But otherwise, I hope you all stay safe, um, take care, and hopefully if I see you on campus or out and about, just say, hey, Miss Parrish, and I'll probably be like, what do you look like? Because I've only seen your name this whole semester. <laughs> but um, just say you were in my 122 class, and I'll be like, awesome. So I hope you all have a wonderful holiday. Stay safe and take care, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.